Hello guys, so today we are going to talk about a bug that you might be introducing into your code without knowing. So take this page for example. This page just shows a list of books, but the list is pretty long, almost a hundred items in total. And each list has a link with a view and a buy button. So when you click the view button, it shows the view book page. And when you click the buy button, it shows the buy button page. So what you're going to concentrate on is these button links here. So if we go to the book component, the button links are using the link component to add the links to their respective pages and this app here is running on a local host server on a dev server so let's open the console of this app and i want you to notice something so let's filter only fetch requests and refresh the page you can see that there is no fetch requests so as you scroll down there's no fetch requests being sent so let's close our dev server and then build this app so npm run build so this will build a production bundle of our app so once the build is done we can now start our production app with the npm start command so this is now the production server so let's go ahead and uh, refresh our page and see what will happen so if you look at the dev tools you can see that a bunch of requests have been sent almost 10 requests have been sent so why is this the case well it's because of the way the link component works so in production the link component prefetches the pages so that when you visit the page it becomes almost instant when loading so if you load the lord of the rings page for example it will load almost instantly and also the buy page loads as instantly but remember that we have over 100 books that we are displaying in this table so that means there's going to be multiple prefetch requests being sent for this table and if you scroll down you can see on the request bar there the requests are increasing constantly as you go down the table so if you go down up to the bottom of the table that is at 100 items there's over 200 requests being sent for data for this table that's because each table you can see has two button links so 100 multiplied by 2 you're sending over 200 requests if you had 200 rows displaying at once then you could have over 400 requests being sent every time a user scrolls to the page and this has negative effects on the performance of the page so with these fetch requests running as you are scrolling the page you'll feel that the page is becoming a little sluggy because now the browser is doing more work as you scroll through the page and this bug is not easy to identify because as you can see it only runs on production and all this is caused by including a simple link tag in your component so that's why you should be very careful about using the link component so how can we fix this well the fix is pretty straightforward so you need to add an extra prop to your link component so if you set the prefetch value to false these links won't be prefetched by next.js in production environments so let's save this and then rebuild the app again and then test if this prefetch works so after the page has completed building let's start the production server again and then we can refresh our browser to see this in effect so if you refresh the browser you can now see that there is no requests being sent for these links so the links are not being prefetched anymore and now the scrolling feels snappy as you're scrolling down the page so although that fix is simple it may not be that obvious to everyone so always be careful about using especially in areas where you're displaying a lot of data at once so either disable the prefetching of the links or you can even use simple link tags for this so you could remove the link component and just use simple a tags and then you can remove the prefetch arguments because we don't need them anymore so that's it for today's tip thank you for watching and see you in the next video